Hello friends, welcome to AIMS Today YouTube channel. You are watching NEAT Foundation. In this video, Habitat Adaptations in Living Organisms, we are going to discuss about the strategies followed by the animals to protect themselves. Adaptation for protection in animals. The animals are hunted and eaten by other animals so they need to adapt themselves in different ways to defend themselves from their enemies. Migration. This is a seasonal movement of complete population of animals to a more favorable environment. It is uh, usually a response to lower temperatures resulting in a reduced food supply. The migration is common in mammals, fish and in some insects but is more marked in birds. Several species are migrated of mature adults for spawning and feeding. Some examples of migratory fishes are given here. The cod fish, herring, salmon, eel, hilsa, three spines, stickleback, the lampreys, the tunas, most of the marine fishes due to adverse changes in the climatic conditions they move from the unfavorable conditions to favorable conditions again they will come back that is uh, this this type of migration in fishes is anadromous migration and catadromous migration from sea to river river to sea like that next another uh, adaptations in animals adaptation for protection in animals some animals protect themselves by running away from their enemies. Some animals can run very fast such as deer, mice and zebras. Another strategy, camouflage. Some animals uh, have developed ways to merge with their surroundings. Then it becomes difficult to see the animal. So these are the, some of the animals uh, which follow this uh, phenomenon of camouflage. is the uh, owl, frog, lizard, squirrel, leopard, another frog is uh, also known as camouflage is also known as cryptic appearance. In some animals the capacity to blend with surroundings is a common adaptation. Some insects, uh, reptiles and mammals have markings on their bodies which make it difficult to distinguish them from shadow and branches example zebra tigers they possess some stripes which can hide and seek which can attack another adaptation the adaptation for the protection of animals some animals like uh, opossums and snakes uh, pretend to be dead and uh, when they are in danger again they become normal when they are out of danger the globe fish can blow itself up to twice its normal size so that it looks bigger and scares away its enemies some animals like uh, rhinoceros and buffaloes stand and fight Another strategy mimicry the resemblance of one animal to another which has evolved as a means of protection is called mimicry here uh, some animals uh, which show the strategy of uh, mimicry owl butterfly this is the owl it's a butterfly actually looks like owl this is one strategy ladybug yellow jacket wasp ladybird Mimic spider here. Mimic octopus. And uh, here scarlet king snake. Coral snake. So here uh, mimic the octopus. Sea snake. Flatfish. A hoverfly. The octopus. Lionfish. These are all the 
animals uh, which resemblance another animal and uh, it is called mimicry. Next adaptation uh, hibernation. Uh, to protect themselves uh, animals uh, during adverse conditions uh, they undergo this kind of phenomenon hibernation. Hibernation is the condition in which uh, the animal go dormant during uh, winters by lowering their metabolic activities. This can be seen in reptiles, fish and amphibians. To combat the problem of uh, food shortage during hibernation, these animals eat a lot of food and store in the form of excess fat. This is a supplied in the form of uh, energy while sleeping. So these are the some of the animals which undergo the hibernation. Hibernating bats, hibernating turtles, hibernating frogs, hibernating birds, hibernating chipmunk, hibernating hedgehog, some mammals. Here the mammal, uh, here uh, you see the polar bear, it's a stop all its activities, simply sleep when the during winter in the polar region it's very cool. So it will use its stored fat during this time. This kind of uh, dormancy during winter season or during extreme winter season is called as hibernation or it is simply called as winter sleep. Next estivation it is also called as a summer sleep. Estivation occurs in animals living in deserts and tropical regions very hot conditions. This is done to protect themselves from hot and dry climate and due to the scarcity of food water. This can be seen in earthworms, mollusks, arthropods, reptiles and amphibians. The sole motive of estivation is to protect or to prevent water loss or dehydration and to save energy. This estivation, it is one uh, pila globosa or a snail. This form of dormancy allows uh, some animals uh, to survive periods of high temperature or drought during the summer. The estivation is not just due to lack of food, but the conditions are too hot and dry for the animal to survive. So, it is called summer sleep in the month of uh, end of April and May there is very hot conditions in the tropical regions so some of the animals these animals will undergo estivation to protect themselves thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel